Hi, welcome to another Siler Instrument quick tip. We recently updated an old support note about using background images, so I'm going to update it for use with Trimble Business Center 5.1 and how to take background images and load them into the data collector for both a Trimble Access and Survey Pro. In Trimble Business Center, you're going to open the Options screen and you're going to set up an external service profile. You do have to have a Trimble Connect login. Detailed information about this entire video can be found in the description link. Siler has a support note uh, that describes everything I'm talking about. But you need to create a Connect account and then fill it in here in your Trimble Business Center options. Once you have the Trimble Business Center options turned on, down here you're going to toggle the background map. So by turning on the background map, you can see it used my coordinate correct project in Trimble Business Center and it loaded background imagery based for here in Madison, Wisconsin. This happens to be the capital. There are two kinds of maps available in Trimble Business Center. Using the Project Explorer, I'm going to double click on the actual project name to bring up the project properties or I can right mouse click properties. And here you can see the background imagery, whether it's displayed or I can choose DigiGlobe or Trimble Map Viewer. The Trimble Map Viewer is a much more basic type of map, but you can see it has street names, highways, and you can see how it could be useful in the field. In order to send the imagery out to the data collector, we can either use the entire plan view or we can use a tool called a plot box. If you look up on the quick access toolbar next to the printer icon, you pull that down, there's an option for a plot box. Basically a plot box is a rectangle defining a specific area. You can name the plot boxes however you want. You can put them on a layer. But if you look in the lower left hand corner of the screen, you can see this much is 5,000 feet. So I can say my plot scale is going to be about 500. My plot width is going to be 10 inches by 50 inches. And then my lower left hand corner, I'm going to click south of this intersection, digitize the location, and I have to make sure that the rotation stays at zero. If I click a second time, it'll digitize a rotated plot box. Currently, Trimble Access does not support rotated plot boxes. So leave the rotation set to zero and hit the word add. What it did is it added a plot box for this location. I can hit close. And now that plot box is close enough to my project location. I can select it and then using the grip, I can move it to exactly the location I want it to be in. To send this image or the plan view to the data collector, you're going to go to the CAD tab, and then over here you've got the capture image icon. Click on that option. You'll select what you want that file name to be. If you hit the three dot ellipsis, you can choose where the file is stored. You're going to pick the resolution, and this is DPI, dots per inch. Again, we're zoomed out pretty far on this interstate, so this is going to be a very low resolution image once we zoom in, but it will help us when we're in the field. You select what resolution you want, and then you pick. If you pick none, you're going to get the entire plan view. If I select the plot box that we created and I hit apply, it just stored the image in my current project snapshot folder. I go to my project, there's a folder called Snapshots, and you can see I have the image right there, that's the JPEG, clipped just to the area that I defined. I have a world file, that's a JGW, and I also have a KML file, which is able to be used in Google Earth. What I need to do is take these two images and drop them in my data collector project folder. Using Trimble Access version 2018 or newer, you're going to hit the Layers tab and if you put the JPEG and the world file in the correct folder inside your project folder, you can see there's the JPEG. When I check the box, that's going to turn it on. I hit Accept and you can see there we have the clipped background imagery based on the plot box. Here's an example of a plot box stored with it set to a 500 foot scale. If I zoom in, you can see it gets extremely grainy. It's good for overall but not for close work. Here's an example if I hit the layers button, 
Here's the same area, same DigiGlobe map, saved at a 50 scale. You can see how much clearer the imagery is. Another useful tip is when you're working in three dimensions. So if I turn on the 3D orbit, the imagery is automatically placed at the ground plane elevation. This is on a Trimble tablet, a T10 or a TSC7. If I hit the three dots and go to settings, the elevation, I can bring this up to the project level. I'll bring it to up, up to about 820 feet. And you can see it actually brought the imagery up to the level where my points are. One warning, if you bring it up too high, points will disappear behind the imagery. Using an older version of Trimble Access, from the map screen, you hit the shift key down here next to your navigation commands and tap the layers icon. If you put the JPEG in the same folder as your job file, you'll see it here, and you can just tap on it to activate. If the JPEG was placed in a different folder, you can hit the Add button at the bottom of the page and navigate to another folder within your username to attach the JPEG. Once you hit Accept, you have the image available and your topo and data will appear on top of the map. In Survey Pro, if you're using the map, you're going to tap the Layers icon and use the Add button to navigate to the folder where your JPEGs are stored. You tap on the JPEG. You may have to change the type to JPEG, but then you hit the checkbox. It needs to copy the base file into your directory. You'll get a preview of what the background is going to look like. You hit check, you hit X, and there you have it. Background imagery able to be used underneath your field data. Thanks for watching another Siler Instrument quick tip.